Hey guys, welcome back to Beardman uh, Reviews. I listened to this album again, and I gotta say, I have been sleeping on this album uh, for three years. It's great stuff. Now, having said that, I'm not a, a metalcore guy. I feel like most metalcore follows a cookie cutter a template. They start off with a very very heavy, very extreme, and a type of like a chunky riff. If, uh, then they then they move in like a to like a thrashier, like a to like a lower a th a thrash metally sounding like a verse riff uh, with a uh, screams. Then they go to a very melodic sounding riff uh, with very with very loud, uh, very uh, pronounced uh, clean vocals. And then they uh, go back to uh, the thrashier uh, screen verse, and, and then the melodic riff, and then a very chunky breakdown a riff, like uh, or solo, and then they go back into uh, the melodic, and then they go and go for like one last metal riff if, with a couple of lines of uh, screams, and then they're done. I feel like every metalcore song ever follows that cookie cutter a template, and the same can be said for this album. So technically, I shouldn't really care for it. However, I do, and most of that is uh, is uh, is uh, the uh, drumming. The drumming on this album is really, really good. I love like uh, the um uh, 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 the super fast like a uh, uh, double uh, kicks like uh, for the uh, for the extreme extreme uh, sections of this album especially on the album's uh, uh opening song like um and I am going to say this right now as far as I've heard a uh, Philip Labonte has the best mainstream metalcore of vocals ever. His he has the most range out of any mainstream metalcore vocalist that I've ever heard, and and he has the best sounding uh, ice scream. I'm sorry, high scream. He has the best sounding a uh, scream that I've heard ever, and. And the dude can do very low gutturals. Uh, he can do like uh, mid lows, and he can do these really soaring uh, uh, screams. And and I've not heard that from any mainstream <laughs> metalcore band. A lot of mm, a, a lot of mainstream metalcore like a v vocalist. Pretty much only stick a, 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 to one scream, and then they have a very a pronounced a clean clean singing clean a voice. But Philip Labonte is much more diverse than that. He's a great vocalist, and and it and it really shocks me because I have been a sleeping uh, on this guy for my whole life he's tremendous now now as far as negatives go there are a couple of songs that's very obviously in uh, in an attempt to get radio a radio a airplay or at least that's how it seems to me and which isn't a bad thing you know like uh, they want a success and a, and and if they want a success they a, deserve it and and but having said that that type of very melodic like radio rock type of sound and and like a, to my knowledge uh, there were like a three songs that were like this it, it just doesn't sit right with me personally but there's a ton of others like a, a, that a, that's type that type of stuff would sit right to, uh, with um, a, mm, a, mm, my wife 
would love those songs, <laughs> but, you know, so, you know, so, and having said that, I, um, I love, I love just how impactful the, the album's, uh, op- the album's, the album's uh, opener is, but it kind of gave me false hope, because I was expecting, like, there to be another song with that level of intensity, and there's really not, there's really not another song on the album with that level of just, you know, um, but having said that, um, I feel as if uh, all that uh, remains on this album, anyways, commit more to the, to the, to the very extreme riffs than a lot of mainstream metal core bands do. I feel like a lot of uh, m- mainstream uh, bands of this genre, they mainly stick to like uh, the thrashier the side of riffs, and and that's perfectly fine. It works. It 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 works for the genre, but it just doesn't work for me personally. Because, like, you know, like, I prefer the heavier side of of death m- metal, but I'm also a very big fan of melodic death metal, and my favorite genre of all time is uh, progressive, d- progressive death metal. So, I understand incorporating uh, melody in with... In with very very uh, extreme stuff but the constant uh, uh, screamed uh, verses and sung choruses uh, uh, I call it uh, the screaming sing a uh, screaming sing is all through uh, this album which again works for the genre but it just doesn't it just got a little monotonous after a while uh, to me but I never skipped any of the any of the songs like that because of how heavy uh, the riffs were and most of that is uh, due to the production the production on this album is tremendous it's really great um, and also like and also I feel as if the Danny uh, uh, worse now where isn't it? I worship, worship. I don't know like how to say his name. I'm so sorry. I feel as if that song was kind of. I don't want to say wasted, but I really would have liked to hear Danny and Philip screaming and singing like a side by side. I kind of like how uh, the uh, Rob Halford heard um, uh, feature. A feature uh, was uh, from a uh, "Lift Me Up" uh, by Five Finger Death Punch. Rob Halford a- added so much uh, to that song, and it was just very. But you know, like I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like, uh, uh, I I kind of feel like Danny's a feature uh, on this album was just didn't really have the same effect. But I've said that, guys. I still love this album. Uh, well, I shouldn't say love. I should not say love. I still really enjoy this album. It's um, I, it, I'm probably not going to ever return to it again. But having said that, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, a listening, a listening to it. But it just, I just didn't really care for the cookie cutter, um, a, a genre uh, that is, uh, that is. Mm, metalcore and and if that gets me a lot of uh, dislikes on this like a video I'm okay with it because like you know like it just doesn't sit right with me but if it sits right uh, with you and then that is awesome so guys having said that I'm going to give this album uh I'll give it a 6.5 uh, out of 10 way better than just about any mainstream medical band uh, uh, album that I've heard in a very long time. Um, and and it's just really a well done. Um, so yeah, guys, like, that's it. Um, like, uh, go sub- 
support uh, all that re remains and uh, it will uh, and if you love the metalcore genre I mean like uh, it will really like uh, blow uh, your mind alright guys so like uh, that's it uh, thank you so much for watching and and thank you so much for continuing for continuing to support me or me hey like uh, yeah so like a victim of the new disease by all that remains 6.5 out of 10 i uh, thank you guys right, bye